Hey there, this video will show you how to resize your images for web using Photoshop. Now I usually will use Lightroom or Mac Preview to resize my images now, but if you do not own Lightroom or you do not have a Mac but you do have Photoshop, you can still easily resize images using Photoshop. What you'll want to do first is just put in the image that you want to resize into Photoshop and to show you what the file size currently is for this image, it is 5.6 megabytes. Now that's pretty large for a website. It will take a couple seconds to load and every second is precious on the web. So we're going to resize this image. What I usually do first is I save as and I create a duplicate of this image. I also will save the image and rename it something that makes sense. So this was during a trip to Disney World with my family. So I'm just gonna call it Disney World 1 and I always put dash web at the end of all of my images so I know that this is a resize from the original. And I will click save. You'll see here on the desktop, it, it's a whole new image. And you can also see here. So the first thing I do after, or the next thing I do after that is I will go to image and image size. You can see the image size, the width, the pixel width, the inch width, and the resolution. My pictures have 72 pixels per inch. If your images have something larger than that, some, some photos will be 240 or 300 pixels per inch. I would bring that down to 72 because 300 is perfect for print, but 72 is great, is perfect for web because you still have that quality, you still have the quality of the image, but it doesn't have as large as a file size as the 300 pixels per inch. Another thing that I do is 72 pixel, pixels wide is huge. I, or inches, sorry, 72 inches wide is huge. I usually edit in pixels because um, it makes more sense with web. And 5,000 is, is large. So I usually will bring it down to 3,000 pixels. That's going to bring it down, you can see here, it was 51 megabytes and now it's coming to 17. Or sorry, this isn't megabytes, this is a different file size, but 51 to 17, that brings it down a lot. So I'll click OK and you can still see it has still good quality and I will save that and I just do that by doing Command S. And sometimes I just kind of go back and forth seeing if I need to do more to it, but just as simple as that, just changing out the file, just the width of the image what brings it down to seven or sorry 640 kilobytes which is the perfect size for your web and that's all you have to do in Photoshop is just change that size from 5,000 or whatever the width is to 3,000 which is going to be the largest a retina display is going to ever your picture will ever be on any screen so if it still is not under two megabytes or one megabyte um, you can bring that down to 2,400 pixels width, or even 2,000, but I start at 3,000, and if it still is not good, then I'll go down from there. So that's just a quick way to use Photoshop to resize your images for web. Thanks.